A question got some attention on Facebook recently, basically wondering why you can see the Confederate flag on the official seal for the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. Apparently somebody noticed it at a driver's license office. And as I'm the Ask Alabama guy, my boss asked me to dig up an answer. So here's the thing, this symbol of the Confederate flag isn't just on the seal for the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. It's on the seal for most major state offices. It's on the governor's seal, the lieutenant governor's seal, the seal for the parole board. That's because this whole symbol, the two eagles surrounding a shield with a bunch of different flags on it, is the official coat of arms arms for the state of Alabama. So why is the Confederate flag on the coat of arms? The short answer is the shield contains flags of every country that ever ruled over a part or all of Alabama. We've got the flags of England, France, and Spain because for a few centuries those countries passed parts of South Alabama back and forth. In the middle you have the shield of the United States because, duh. And then you've got the Confederate flag, representing the period when Alabama was ruled by the Confederacy. Now was the intention of including the Confederate flag on the coat of arms intended to be an endorsement of the Confederacy? That's hard to say. An argument could be made that it's just historically accurate, but others point out that putting the Confederate flag alongside the flags of, like, real countries might be an attempt to give the Confederacy more legitimacy in history. What I can say is the person who commissioned the coat of arms was tied to the Confederacy and was no question super duper racist. Marie Bankhead Owen commissioned the coat of arms in 1923. She took over as the head of the Alabama Department of Archives and History in 1920 when her husband, the former department head, passed away. And she was not quiet about her promotion of white supremacy and even fought against giving women the right to vote because she worried it would lead to improved voting rights for black people. And her family had fought for the Confederacy during the Civil War. So if you're looking for reasons why she would want to make a pro-Confederacy symbol, take your pick. However, in support of the argument that the coat of arms is just trying to be historically accurate, Murray Bankhead Owen was a lauded historian. However, however, she did commission the coat of arms during the heyday of the Lost Cause narrative, which was basically a century-long push to rewrite the cause of the Civil War as a dispute over states' rights, which it really wasn't, instead of a dispute over slavery, which it absolutely was. Anyway, Marie Bankhead Owen pushed to have the coat of arms adopted by the state, and it eventually was in 1939. So that's why this symbol is all over so many state seals. Is it supposed to be pro-Confederacy or just historically accurate? It could honestly go either way. I'm Jonathan Sobolewski for Reckon. If you like these videos and like what we're doing on Reckon, you can help us out by following Reckon by AL.com on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.